I am going to go. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to. Uh, what I'm right. I'm ready to start now, so I'm just going to count one, two, three. Right now, this video today, you really do need to read the manuscript, and that manuscript is in www.youmustrepent.com. So in Google, if in your search engine you just put in the word "you must repent," just separate words, then the manuscript should come up. You should see it there. You need to read it. There definitely appears to be an injustice that can happen in the world where a lot of people are not brought before a judge. And also if people do the right thing, quite often many people do not get reward. And the beginning of uh, this video, there is a section there to talk about the fact that we go ahead and we live our lives the way we want to live it. But have a think about it. Read the manuscript, otherwise what I'm going to say is not really going to make any sense. Because every human being has the option that you can simply say, all right, I will do whatever I want to do in life, and that's the end of the story. And quite often, we do whatever we can to enhance ourselves, don't we? Some people murder, some people steal, some people are lucky, of course, they get heaps of money. Some people have lousy lives, don't they? That's absolutely true. Some people's lives definitely are absolutely horrible, aren't they? And conversely, of course, there are people who have really good lives. And some people have just average sort of lives, don't they? Anyway, life is like that, and we have a choice. We can say, all right, life is life. Don't think about God at all. Just get to work. But read the manuscript. That's the one. So if you're listening to this video, you definitely can read the manuscript. It won't take long, which will set the scene for this video. So people, many people, many, many people think exactly that. Life is life. We do what we can. In life, we get what we can out of life. And that's... That's the end of the story. And people say there's really no overarching in the world. What happens, happens. And people in countries around us try to reward some people. And people around the world also try to bring to account people who do the wrong thing. But obviously, many, many people get away with doing the wrong thing. And that word sovereignty of, in countries is one of those problems, isn't it? where whole countries, whole governments can get away with doing the wrong thing and they can be persecuted people. They kill thousands of people and it appears that people just simply get away with doing the wrong thing. So this situation really is not satisfactory at all because definitely you say to yourself, all right, I'll get what I can out of life. And that's exactly what a lot of people do. There's one thing we do know, so we do what we want to do in life, we live our lives, we enjoy ourselves. But the one thing we all have to do, we all have to leave. We have to leave, we really have to leave, don't we, because we have to die. And some of us say, all right, we die, that's the end of the story, we're in the grave, in the end, that's the end of the story. Some people think, oh, well, if there is something good, to come, well, that's fine, isn't it? We don't really know. We don't really know. Anyway, millions, if not billions, of people go through life and they have this not knowing what happens when they die because they say, oh, no, there is nothing after that. It's true to say that people basically have this shadow at the end, this blackness, if you like. They live their lives, they do what they can do in life, but then there's this if you like something at the end that says, oh, well, you know, I don't want to die. Well, you try not to die, do you? But you have to go. Now, what happens is that the Christian world, I'm going to read this because I don't want to make a mistake. The Christian world starts with saying that God really does exist. He made the world. 
and God gives us a rule of how we should live life. And if we do the wrong thing, we are punished. And if we do the right thing, we are rewarded. We all have to give an account to God, as I said in my last video. So the Christian world puts this before people. There is a God, a great king who created the world. God has told us how to live. God also sent his son into the world to tell us about God and what was going to happen and how the world is going to end. The, res the result is we have a Bible that has the beginning of the world and has the end of mankind. The reason God has been talking to us is, well, really what happened, the reason God has been talking to us is to let us know that all things are not doom at all. In fact, God gives us optimism and gives us a reason for living and also when we die, we can look forward to something else. But God is letting us know that every person has to give an account to him, whether it be good or bad. So in the end, justice will be meted out to those who do the right thing will be rewarded and those who do the wrong thing will be punished. People don't really believe God exists, do they? But the world, Christian world tells you God does exist. Just go to the Bible and have a read. The problem has arisen, of course, most people do not follow God. In other words, it's really it's nearly impossible to do what God wants you to do. Because really, we're looking after ourselves. So, because we can never satisfy, a new arrangement has been instituted that we call the New Testament in our Christian Bibles. So, the new arrangement is that you cannot earn your way to please God. God sent His Son into the world. He lived for three years. He was killed. And Jesus did not have to die, but he did. And we're told the reason he did that is because of his love for us, God's love for us. So he didn't have to die. God, Jesus never did the wrong thing, but he was killed and he rose again. That's interesting, isn't it? God never did the wrong thing, but he died. And the reason he died is that he, Jesus died for you and me. And God said, this is my son, listen to him, I am happy with him. So the requirement now is that we are to believe in Jesus Christ, we are to believe in Jesus Christ, he died for people's sins, so that if we confess our faults and follow Jesus, in other words, do the right thing, God has told you that if you go and live, believe in Jesus Christ, and live what, do what Jesus tells you to do, he will look after you, and then he then will take you home to be with Jesus. We have covered a lot of territory, and I know you couldn't possibly understand what I've just said, but look, read the Bible. That's the only way. I read my Bible. Millions of people read the Bible. So read your Bible. The better you know your Bible, the more you'll know the things I have to say. So the Christian world put all these things before you. So if you do not believe that God exists, well, think about, go to a church, read your Bible. Anyway, I think I've actually made a, a mess of things because there's so much stuff here. Look, all I can say to you is go to your Bible, the Christian Bible, and read Matthew, Mark, Luke, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Have a read.